The next topic I want to talk about is BGP soft reconfiguration. Every time you configure BGP, you must include the BGP reconfiguration commands. We don't have to wait for timers. And if this policy updates, if something has changed, we can request updates from our upstream peers. Route Refresh actually does this without flapping the neighborships or adjacencies. And the second thing, which is equally important, is the ability to see the individual prefixes being advertised by your adjacent neighbor. So for instance, since we're on Firewall 5, if we wanted to see the specific prefixes that R2 in particular is advertising, sending in our direction, is advertising to us as Firewall 5. We need the software configuration enabled and without this, we won't be able to. In fact, let's have a look at that now. Get router info. Neighbor, in this case, our neighbor is 10.160.100. 10.160.100.2. And the command is received routes. We get an error message. It says inbound software configuration not enabled. No prefix for neighbor. So BGP doesn't know anything about the routes and the prefixes being sent and ex exchanged between Firewall 5 and R2. And the same applies to the entire topology. So let's change this. I'm going to now configure software configuration on all the firewalls and then we'll do this again here on Firewall 5. Let's start with Firewall 5 to enable the software configuration. Config router BGP config neighbor. You do this under the neighbor configuration hierarchy. And since we have two neighbors, I'm going to say edit 10.160.90.2 set software reconfiguration enable. And then on to the next one. Edit 10.160.100.2. Set soft reconfiguration enable. Now soft reconfiguration is enabled. Let's run our commands again and see if there's any difference. Get router info. BGP neighbors 10.160.90.2 received routes and with that command you can see all the networks that have been advertised to us from 10.160.90.2 and we want to run the same command and 10.160.100.2 would be R2 let's have a look at that there this is priceless in the corporate environments because you cannot troubleshoot BGP if you don't understand where the networks are being learned from. 